Born Free, Killed by Hate, The Price of Being Gay in South Africa. What's up guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Tish. I hope you guys are well. Today's video is going to be about what it's like being gay or member of the LGBTQ in South Africa. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Please drop a like, comment and subscribe and yeah. Born free, killed by hate, the price of being gay in South Africa. After a spate of murders, gay people say more needs to be done to stop the hate crimes in South Africa. This is a news article from 2016. This was reported by the BBC and I will not be going into the whole article. But I do want to say that is the reality. The reality of being gay in South Africa already is walking around with fear. Living in South Africa, walking around with fear. Walking around with this demeanor or this manner of trying not to show who you are or your true self because of what can happen. So in South Africa over the recent years, since about 2016 or even earlier, hate crimes and the killings and murders of queer people have been increasing. I remember last year there was a trending hashtag going around all over South Africa, stop queer murders. And as much as that hashtag has done in more to bring awareness to the issue and there was a protest as well, I haven't seen it decline in my honest opinion. And another thing is I have not seen this reported in the news. I haven't seen these issues make it outside of the circles of the queer community. And that's just one of the many things that's the reality of South Africa as a queer person. There's also the fact that even though rights and legality of queer people have been there from the late 90s to the early 2000s till now, there's been a lot of progressiveness in our parliament, in our government, in all of that. But as most know, South Africa's parliament, South Africa's government, South Africa's laws, as progressive as they are, they're all filled with corruption. Like, everywhere you walk in South Africa, it's filled with corruption. So, you can be killed for being a queer person, and you can not see justice. Someone will find a way to blame you as the person that was murdered or victimized and say that it is your fault that they did that to you. It should not be that reality. And that is already one of the cases for one of the other causes in South Africa alone. Being a woman in South Africa, that's also one of the cases. They will blame you for wearing a dress. Or in the queer community, you wore nail polish, or you wore a flamboyant top, or you wore something and you were slightly flamboyant, and it was your fault that you were killed or you were victimized. Like, there is no justice that is served for anybody in this country as a whole. So, why do people say that South Africa is one of the safest places for the queer community or the LGBTQ community? Nobody can lie and say that they have not seen those videos on YouTube and TikTok saying that South Africa is one of the safest places for the LGBTQ community because by God, no! No, it is not! Like, already as a person in South Africa, it's scary to love you. It's terrifying to love you because of the crime rate. Now imagine adding who you are as a person onto that list. Imagine being a minority in this country. South Africa paints itself as this country of equality, democracy, and you name it. And I know there's South Africans out there that don't believe that, that say, oh no, we don't do that, we don't do that. But they do. They do. They say, we tell the truth about South Africa. No, you don't. I have never heard anybody speak about South Africa and say, oh no, South Africa is... Uh, this happens in South Africa and that happens in South Africa. They have not. People love to show overseas how wonderful South Africa is so that they can bring in people from South Africa, from other countries. And 
how are you supposed to bring in people from other countries when you can't fix your own? When you can't fix the country, but you still want to immigrate other people here. Like those videos and stuff that say, oh, South Africa is the greatest place on earth and blah, 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 blah. Or South Africa is the, the, the safest place for queer people. Where? Oh, I know where. I know where. We all know where. But it's not one of the safest places. That's the thing. Living anywhere in this country is, is a gamble. Walking anywhere in the street as a person or who you are as a person. Just being slightly extra is a gamble. Me, when... I used to wear nail polish and I used to, I haven't, I, when I used to go out in, out in public, I used to take the polish off because it's a gamble. It's a literal gamble. You're gambling with your life. And I know my voice got high pitched there, but that's one of the realities in South Africa. No justice gets served for anybody in this country. No justice at all. Being a woman, being a gay man, being a normal average South African. No justice gets served for you, honey. Because South Africa has this term called corruption that I mentioned. Corruption in South Africa is an ultimate high. It's in everywhere. So say you get killed as a genderqueer person and the person that was that's guilty of killing you will get arrested. Let's say that. You will get arrested. But two weeks after he's arrested and let's say everything's calmed down and everybody's like um relaxed the government will then release this person not the government the law will release this person on bail and one of their favorite excuses is lack of evidence so yeah that's all i can say is living in south africa and the reality is it's not safe it's terrifying and it's horrible as a queer person. I always talk about leaving and the more and more hate crimes I see on a daily basis and the, the more and more I'm motivated. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, comment and subscribe as well as in the comment section down below, if you guys have your own opinions or your own realities of living in South Africa or whatever the case may be, good or bad, please drop drop it down in the comments below. As well as, go check out all my social medias, links in the description box below. And share and press the bell icon and I'll see you guys in the next one on Friday. See you guys. Oh, keep well.